Are you struggling to cope with stress at the moment? Are you worried? Are you concerned about what the future looks like? If you are, you are not alone. And in this video today, I'm going to talk about stress. I'm going to discuss five methods to help you manage and cope better with stress. So let's jump straight into the video. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, the concept of my channel is to help others help themselves. Now before I discuss the five methods, I wanna ask you a question. What do you know about stress? Stress is the body's reaction to any change that requires an adjustment or a response. Now our body reacts to these changes in three different ways, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Now our bodies produce a hormone called cortisol. This is released when we're under excessive pressure or in stressful situations. So now you know the basics about stress. Let's talk about five methods to help you cope and manage stress better. Number one, focus on what you can control. Focusing on what we cannot control can make us less effective and even more stressed. The more time we spend focusing on the things that we cannot control, the less time we're spending on improving a particular stressful situation. Dale Carnegie has a brilliant formula to help with this in his book, How to Start Worrying and Start Living. Step one, ask yourself what is the worst that can happen. Step two, prepare to accept it mentally. Step three, calmly proceed to improve on the worst. And I truly believe that this can be applied to most stressful and worrying situations. Number two, break large tasks down. When you're faced with what seems to be a huge task, it can often feel overwhelming and make you feel more stressed. It can really help to break this task down into smaller, more manageable jobs. This will also help with procrastination too. And you'll often find people who procrastinate will leave the job that needs to be completed until the very last minute and then they really feel the stress and the task in hand seems unachievable. Number three, connect with people. There is no doubt about it that human connection adds value to our lives. If you've got a really good support network around you, it can really help during stressful situations. And as humans, we enjoy being part of something. It gives us a sense of belonging. So if you're stressed at the moment, let's take homeschooling for example. Reach out to other parents. I'm sure you're not alone and it's always good to share best practices too. Number four, learn to say no. A common cause of stress is having too much to do and not enough time in the day to do it. Bizarrely though, we still struggle to say no sometimes and often find ourselves taking on additional responsibility. Learning to say no to these additional requests can and will help your levels of stress. So just prioritize the things that need to be prioritized and learn to say, no. Number five, self-love. Self-love encourages us to make better life choices. When you hold yourself in high esteem, you're more likely to choose things that influence your well-being. Now self-love can come in many forms, exercise, eating well, skincare regime, or just getting stuck into a good book. So at times like these, when so much of our lives feel out of our control, I hope these five methods have helped you help yourself manage and cope with stress better. If you feel this video has added value to you, then hit the subscribe button down below for me and I would love to know what methods you use to help you deal with stress. But until next time, stress less and have a good week.